Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2. Back on the race to the north map today where there are plenty of people waiting at London, Euston, St Pancross. Uh, quite a few going to Birmingham and Sheffield. We've got a bit of a, a uh, well the, the Cambridge situation is under control. I know before we were, uh, we had way too many people on these trains but it really has settled down now. 28 there, what have we got there? 52 out of 75. So they're not full but we're getting everybody moving which is excellent stuff. Now, um, first things first that we're going to be doing today, obviously we need to finish our, uh, our passenger situation on this line from, uh, we've got Reading to Swindon already built, you can see that there. Uh, did I remember, no I didn't put any, uh, any buses in at Swindon, or Reading for that matter, but it seems like everything's under control there, and then if I have a little look round here, have we got everything uh, yeah, that's all looking brilliant. We could actually just have this as a single line affair for now. I mean, it's it's doable, isn't it? Right, okie dokie. So, let's go for a new new line. Right, there we go. Euston St. Pancross. What platform can you come in on? Platform number nine, I'm feeling. Right, you can go in on number nine. And all the way around to Lower Reading. Go in on that platform. Lovely. And uh, up to Swindon. Swindon West. And then back towards Reading. That'll do. And then out that way. And uh, and round. Splendid. Right, okie dokie. So that's coming across nicely there. Excellent. Lovely. Right, okie dokie. And then into London that way. Splendid. Right, okie dokie. So that can be the train. London to Swindon. There we go. And then what we're going to work on doing is getting our passenger services uh, a little bit more. You know, we're going to have a few more trains on it so that we can get more people moving. Because at the moment, at this moment in time, sorry, it's, uh, it is a little bit difficult. No, oh, hang on, right. Uh, yeah, that'll do. It's a little bit difficult when your trains can carry like 70 people and you've got 600 waiting at a station. Uh, it does cause quite the backlog. Right, what are you? So you've got 680 horsepower, 45. I'm going to go for the Caledonian because it's a little bit quicker. Uh, what else have we got? Generic British carriages. We can do a bit of that, can't we? Right, 75 as well. Okie dokie, so uh, we've got the, fr uh, right, do we need a front brake? Front brake, that'll do. Third class, third class, third class, third class. First class, oh hang on, right, tell you what. Oh hang on, I've got rid of the loco as well, for goodness sake. Right, <laughs> try again, Caledonian. Uh, generic UK passenger coaches, oh these look quite nice. First class, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That'll do. We'll go for those. How many have we got there? Nine. And oh, no, hang on, we've got ten on there, of course. And they carry the same, yeah. Right, okie dokie. That's absolutely lovely. Right, seven million. We'll go for the uh, the train. London to Swindon. Excellent. Right, off we pop. Oh, hang on. All right, get rid of that. It's one of these that doesn't sound particularly brilliant, isn't it? The uh, the steam train sound. It's not the best. Right, okay. So, for Reading, are we feeling like an Oxford to Reading bus? I mean, that could work. What we're going to do? Right, we'll go around there. Yeah, lovely. Put that in there. One in there. And we'll go all the way up to here. So, uh, I mean, that's the... You know, go around and in that way. Right, okay. We'll have a... Uh, have a bus in there, that'll do. We'll go up through town, lovely. Round the corner, excellent. And out the bottom end. Fantastic, and down towards uh, Reading. I'm gonna say down towards Oxford. Down towards uh, this place. And then this one, we can have a, uh, like a sort of circular that goes round through town. There we go, and we'll have, uh, we'll have that one there, like that. That'll do. Right, okie dokie. So, have we got a depot? Yes, we do. The depot in Reading is pre-built, so that can go right up there. One, two, three, four. So this will be the Reading anti-clockwise. Bus Reading anti-clockwise. Lovely. And then that can be the bus. Yep, you guessed it. And we'll have another. Excellent. Out that way. Uh, 
and then all the way back to Reading. Fantastic. Right here, so that will be the bus Reading to Oxford. Fantastic. Right, okie dokie. Let's get that sorted. So we're going to have 20 of these, yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. On the bus Reading anti-clockwise, and then the bus Reading clockwise, another 10 there. And then I'm going to go with 20 of these things for the bus Reading to Oxford. There we go. 10 in each direction. I mean, they're not exactly what you'd call quick, are they? Uh, do we want... That is an excellent question. How about if we go for some... Uh, uh, hang on. We'll actually stop you there instead. We'll get rid of that bus stop. Yep. Have a stop there. We'll have another stop there for those houses. And we'll go all the way over to, uh, to Swindon. There we go. We'll put a stop there for these houses. Because then we can have another bus that goes from Oxford over to Swindon there. That'll do. Right, over there. Just for a bit more connectivity. There we go. Right, okie dokie. Bus Swindon to Oxford. And I could build another depot. That would be the sensible thing to do. But what we're actually going to do is, uh, is buy a load more buses. Bus Swindon to Oxford. We're going to buy them all in the Reading Depot. It's going to take him a while to get across. Where's our train? Has he actually stopped? I don't know if he was first stopped London St. Pancross, Euston. Euston St. Pancross. You'd imagine he's stopped given the fact that he's quite slow. But uh, yeah, he can go do that. Oh, we've actually got room for another one. Right, okay. I imagine there'll be quite a bit of, uh, quite a bit of people using this. I mean, they're already queuing up. Look, there's uh, what we've got here. One passenger. Excellent. One passenger there. Two, five. Excellent. So the uh, the clockwise people already wanting to go into town for that. Now, that's going to take a while. <coughs> Excuse me. How's this going to work, then? I wonder if we could... Uh, what, what speeds was I using? Just remind me. Yep, we were using 60s. Now we're just thinking, if we've got someone going around this corner, that's not going to work, is it? Do we go down as far? Yeah, you see Southampton. Because that might, yeah, that, that'll work. I mean, that line, this, uh, this little branch line, could actually run down to Southampton for a passenger service eventually, couldn't it? Hmm. Yeah, things are very much... Oh, good lord. Have we unlocked motorised wagons yet? No. Yeah, this this whole situation here is going to be a real thing, isn't it? Until we... Uh, I, I thought that I had gated level crossings, although for some reason I don't. I know that... Because uh, it, it was suggested, Joe, can you get the gated level crossings? I thought we already had them. So uh, I didn't go download them and then they're not there. So I'll make sure that I download those for the next episode. Yeah, we actually got you moving now. London to Swindon. Excellent. Let's have a look in the old timetable. Uh, lines, train London to Swindon. There we go. Right, 5.43. So we'll go with uh, unbunch six minutes. 5.50, how's that? Add a bit more time in, that'll do. I'll take time out, sorry. Yeah, there we go. Alright, 5.50. So you're going to go in there. What have we got on the London to Swindon side? Whoa, 724 on the London to Birmingham. Right, these guys are going to need replacing, aren't they? Uh, I do not have enough money to do that. Right, let's have a look. Have we got a... Uh, right, first class. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We could go for eight. What, have, what can they carry at the minute? 60, so that will be doubling capacity. Right, if I borrow that... That would still be too much. Right, hang on. That would actually be replacing them with less. Excellent. Right, okay. That's not going to work, is it? Right, I'll tell you what. We'll, we'll repay that loan. This is actually going to look so good when we've got like the East Coast running as well. More services up the West Coast. It's going to look fantastic. I mean, these guys at the minute, like I say, they're... Uh, they're not looking brilliant, are they? 
in terms of passenger numbers, of course. One passenger. Oh, the Stadtbahn Halle. That'll do. Ah, yeah. That's that's going to work. I like the Stadtbahn Halle. What have we got here? Oh, I thought he was queuing to go in. He's, uh, he's waiting there, of course. Oh, it's looking good. This is actually looking really, really good now that we've got the uh, the, the southbound services sorted out. Obviously, we've still got passenger services to send down to Chatham, Hastings, Brighton, Portsmouth, Southampton, and uh, quite what we're doing with Yarmouth yet, I've not decided. And, of course, London to Southend, but... Uh, I mean, we could actually send Chelmsford and Southend as per... Uh, the Great Eastern, or the, did they turn off? They turn off at Shenfield, I know that. I can't remember which side of Chelmsford. It's this side, isn't it? So they don't go to Chelmsford and down to Southend. Uh, there's nothing to say that we can't do that in real life, though. And, of course, not forgetting Cambridge, up to Peterborough for the cross-country, uh, and then over to Nottingham, Birmingham. We don't have Cardiff on this, but that could be a run. I know that the Nottingham services, I mean, they normally go Peterborough-Leicester, don't they? They don't... The Nottingham's a different branch, but, you know, a bit of poetic license will be necessary, I think, on this. And see, the problem is, is, I mean, there's 700 and odd waiting to leave there. Not actually that many at Northampton. Birmingham, again, 389. So these trains are not really making that much of a dint on there, are they? You see, 24 million. Let's, uh, let's speed that up. That's 108 capacity, so I mean they'll be able to go faster. Problem is, is the more of this that's happening, the uh, that you know time's moving on faster, isn't it? And if time's moving on faster, that means we're unlocking more things, which will be more expensive. So look at this, London to Sheffield. Again, that is one of our whoa, a lot of passengers waiting there. Good heavens. How many have we got on there? Just two. Just two. Oh, dear. And these guys are... Uh, right, your stop there. Excellent. What's sort of happening up here? So you, you don't actually have anybody on. I mean, the buses haven't got there yet. They're all on the... They're still all on the way over, for crying out loud. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll have to wait until you do another lap round, I think, for the buses to have got across. Eh, dear me. How about this uh, this situation? Have we unlocked those? Oh, we've still not unlocked the uh, the DMG Canstadt. I, uh, I had a look for a couple of the traction wagons that was mentioned in the comments, and uh, I didn't really see anything that I liked, so I thought, you know what, we'll just ride it out for now. We'll ride it out and see uh, see how we go. Look at all those people. They're all livid, aren't they? I mean, we're starting early with the terrible rail service. Usually, uh, when we're at this age, we actually manage to get a fairly decent rail service and get everyone on board, whereas, uh, yeah, there really are quite a lot of people waiting. Do you know what I'm going to do? I don't know what I'm going to do. I was going to say I'm going uh, to replace these. I was going to add more, but replacing, oh, replacing just works better. What about if we go for this, sort of the Great Western style? Bit of that. See, that's only going to cost 16 million. And they'll carry 80, but they will carry 80 fairly fast. The acceleration speed, mediocre on there. See, we will be able to do that if... I mean, what's the acceleration speed at the minute? It doesn't tell you. That's very annoying. Right, 16, 7... Right, 17, right. Let's borrow that and replace it. Because we can replace it and add more in. Where is it? Oh, we haven't got any in the station at present. Let's have a look what we've got up here. Obviously, that's got 60 out of 80 on board. First class just behind the, uh, just behind the locomotive there. I figured that all the cranks of the time would want to uh, want to ride behind the loco. See, that is lovely, isn't it? I'm going to pause that there, and we're going to try and get a uh, get a nice shot of the loco on the bridge. 
Look at that. I mean, those lights are ridiculous, aren't they? I know there's a, a mod you can you can use to get rid of that, but we're going to have a couple of shots of that. Lovely. Right, so if we speed that up, they're not getting up to 60 anymore, are they? I think I've made it slower. Thing is, were they getting up to 60 before? I can't remember, to tell you the truth. Right, there we go, repay that, and again. Ah, you see it's more or less getting up to 60, isn't it? 56. Top speed is 67 miles an hour, so it's only a little bit faster. Obviously, the uh, the locomotive can go faster than 67, but the coaches are the limiting factor. So, that's all good. I mean, that's going to make its money when it gets into, uh, into the main station. That's got 80 on board. How many have we got waiting? Still 700 and odd. Oh, it's not a good look. We need another train, ideally, don't we? In the, uh, in the mix. See, when we have, like, Manchester... It depends, what are we doing? Are we stopping everything at Birmingham? Obviously, we've got the Trent Valley that sort of comes down here in real life, but are we, are we running everything through Birmingham and then doing, like, next stop London? Are we not bothering? I don't know. don't really know what to do with it. How are, uh, how are our lines for making money? We've got quite a few that are losing money. The, uh, the Cambridge Freight isn't the best, is it? Yeah, let's have a look. So you're stopped. Do we know why he's stopped? Is it because he's waiting time? It's just not got that many on, has it? Central to South Hub, right, and that's just arriving, so, I mean, that's losing a lot of money, but it's just made six million. Right, tell you what, how much is, uh, I mean, we'll be able to buy a new one of these, won't we, right, we'll borrow ten million, there we go. Where's my next train? Where is it? Oh, it's there, right, okay. We'll have another. Okay, it only costs seven million, that'll do. Where is he? We're coming out the depot, seeing as this is the only depot. Right, there we go. Right, repay a bit of that. Oh, hang on, a bit more. That is lovely. Right, he's on his way. So if we're going to the timetable section, train, 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 London to Birmingham. That is because you're looking at trams there, Joe. Right, six minutes, so we'll go five minutes. Five minutes. That will do. Right, four minutes thirty-seven. How about if we even go four minutes forty-five? Even more frequent. That is the stuff. Right, okie dokie. We'll repay a bit of loan. Oh, hang on. What's happening? Why are we stopping? Why are we stopping? Ah, right, I've not actually put any additional signals in here at all. So if we go, uh, right, one way, yeah. What's he waiting for? The Central to South Hub shuttle, why are you... Oh, because I have not signalled this at all. Right, okie dokie, yeah, that, that is a problem. Right, tell you what we'll do, we'll, uh, we'll borrow that money back. Always helps when you signal. Whoa, that's gone super laggy all of a sudden. Come on, why are we lagging? Are we are we fine now? That was a real lag spike, wasn't it? Right, that's got a signal there. Oh, I've got the auto sig on. Right, I'll tell you what we'll do then. We'll whiz up here. One way, yeah, lovely. That will do, right, refund that. I did think it was weird that that wasn't working correctly. Right, we're going to stop you first, because you're, uh, you're the more important of the two. London St Pancross, 72 waiting. 
40. Oh, God. I hope some of these get off or we're going to be in bother. How many of you got on 80 out of 80? Oh, well, the Great Western Line is proving popular then. Uh, good news all round then. Oh, plenty of passengers getting on. Oh, there's a lot that's got off in Reading, though. That's good, because eventually we'll be able to change. You'll change at Reading and go around to Oxford, up to Birmingham, and then, of course, from Reading we could go to Manchester, or we could run all the way up. Actually, because we don't have Bristol on here, that might be where I'm sort of doing a cross-country from Reading, Oxford, Birmingham, Sheffield, Leeds, York, Newcastle, avoid Middlesbrough, Berwick, Edinburgh. Dundee, so we could have a Dundee to Reading service. I know it's not completely the same, is it? But, you know, it's... Uh... Or we could have Dundee to sort of Birmingham and then Manchester to Reading. There's quite a few different services we could have. I mean, we're thinking a little bit ahead of ourselves, aren't we, at the moment? What have you got on 80? How many have we got? London to Reading, London to Swindon. Oh, no, so we still need more trains on that. Although that is the Birmingham service. Excellent. Is that our latest one? Train 8? Uh, no, because the latest one's down here, isn't he? Sat waiting for a gap in the traffic. Wow, 198 out of 210. That is quite a lot. Right, come on. Any time now. Off with pop. Yeah, this uh, this London to Birmingham service really does need to get a shufty on. Mm hmm. Have I signalled down here? Yes, I have. You need to worry for a second that I've forgotten to signal it. Certainly does seem a better use of this station, doesn't it? I mean, the East Yorkshire series, it was really good using this station, but this is a lot busier. We've got a lot more trains whizzing in and out. I, uh, I feel like we've done a lot better with this station than the last one. Look at that. I mean, that's the, uh, the Cambridge Freight Service going back there. Ready to make no money. What have we got waiting here? Cambridge, Cambridge Freight? Okay, there's a solid 40 waiting. Well, 38, not quite 40 yet. Hmm. Still not unlock the DMG. DMC Cannstatt. Which is really annoying. <laughs> Hang on, why is everybody waiting on the same side of the road for the... Uh, oh, right, okay. Uh, right, the anti-clockwise must be on Terminal 2. There we go. Is uh, Are we all fine now? Yeah, for some reason everything was waiting on the same side of the, uh, of the road there. Is the same also happening anywhere else? No? I mean, it would be a lot better if we didn't all have to queue up. Tell you what we will do. Shall we... Uh, I don't know. London's not actually managing that poorly, to be honest with you. Oh, hang on. I was going to say we could upgrade London to the Hallett Tram. But I mean, at the minute, there's not really any need, is there? The thing with London is we've got all this area around here to go at yet. You know, that is poorly connected. But all that's going to happen... Oh, hang on. What have we got here? go, right, off you pop. Oh, the, the Cannstatt, the Cannstatt, it's, we, we've unlocked it. And I realise I'm just yelling there. Right, okay, let's have a look. So, new resort, right, okie dokie. Please say we've got enough money to actually do this. Right, we'll replace everything. London food is not actually, not carrying that much, wow. 
the truck London food is probably not carrying that much, actually, because... Uh, hang on. Everything does seem to be jammed, doesn't it? Let's try again with what's going on over here. What else? London food. London planks. That's another one we need. All the latest... Uh, there we go. Right, so now things are moving quicker. And of course, not only are they moving quicker, but we can move more of them. Right, how are we doing with that? Uh, with, right, if that's on full power, full speed ahead, full steam ahead. So what's this? London planks. Hmm. Just remind me why we're taking the machines to London again. Oh, hang on. London planks. Why are we... Oh, because that's for the planks. Yeah, London planks to tools. So we're actually taking machines all the way out there to take them all the way back again. Does seem a bit of a long way around for the machines, doesn't it? But... That is so much better already. I mean, we could put that as a four-lane... Fair, but everything turns left anyway, doesn't it? Actually, no. Does some things go straight on? Uh, no, everything goes left. Excellent. Right, hang on. That's a good idea. Waypoint. Let's uh, let's have a bit of that. There we go. Because these guys could actually do better if they went that way. Aha! I didn't actually have to tell them to go that way either. There we go. And another one on the other side. Splendid. So you're going to go in there and round and back out the other side. So then it's taking more traffic off here, meaning they can flow better. Oh, look at that. I feel like a bit of a genius right now. I'm, I'm feeling like we made an, ex an, excellent, an excellent business decision. Right. We've, uh, okay. Could do with another one of these. How are we doing on the old London... To oh, the London to Swindon's packed. Right, okay. Have another. Can't afford another. The London to Birmingham situation is, uh, is no better than it was. People really do want to uh, leave London. I think it's probably also something to do with the fact that at this moment in time, if you want to go anywhere to anywhere, you have to go via London, which uh, is causing a few problems. So yeah, that that idea of the uh, the Chelmsford, Cambridge, Peterborough, Nottingham, Birmingham might actually work pretty well. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think for now we'll stick with the uh, we'll stick with the old the London to Birmingham. Hmm. So yeah, I have, mm, Birmingham. Is that a good idea, do you think? Oh, it's frustrating. Over to Nottingham. Would we have to change ends at Nottingham? I think we probably would for around Peterborough Way, wouldn't we? Cambridge. Right, I'll tell you what we'll do. So Peterborough is going to be... We'll, we'll make a start on Peterborough Station. How's that? I realise we're running out of time. So we're going to go... Oh, I don't know. Right, 240 should we go with? How long's the longest platform? Is it 3? We'll go with 320, why not? Right, we'll put the uh put that in. 3 and 3 just in case. And then we'll go with one platform and there's a reason for that because in the next episode, we will actually continue with that. Because what I want to do is I want to have some, like, through lines for if anything's going through fast. You know, not stopping at Peterborough. Because we would like something to actually get up to some speed on this series, wouldn't we? 
it uh, it would be quite nice. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go for like another platform down the side. There's no point in me telling you about it. We may as well just do it in the next episode. Try and actually make it look reasonably like Peterborough. So uh, yeah, thank you so so much for watching, everybody. I do hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, please do click the like button. It's always appreciated. In the next episode, we are going to continue to uh, expand our passenger operations. The freight, we seem to have a bit of a handle on the freight at the moment. Uh, and dare I say, these trucks are actually doing a half-decent job. So, uh, yeah, any great ideas, I want to hear about them in the comments. And apart from that, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully, I shall see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.